Welcome to the third tutorial in which we're going to try to modify the meshes of the avatar in order to set your own mesh for your game. So everything is inside the player avatar news uh, game object prefab. To do uh, the modifications you have to go to uh, the main player body and then you will see that you have two avatars that is the men and the women you can also start adding different avatars and uh, creating reference to them in the main menu in order to access them and uh, add more than two but the idea is to use one for the male and one for the female uh, for the sake of this tutorial we're not going to explain a lot more we're going just to show how to get this avatar that is really simple that we have created for you that has uh, a specific um, design in which it has no hands so you can use the photon hands in order to um, simulate the movement of the player uh, synchronized over the network and we're going to change that thing into uh, another uh, model another if FBX model that is uh, here in the extra FBX that is the SWAT is this guy here uh, we don't have textures I don't know why no it's from Mixamo but I didn't download the textures so we're going just to use the model and we're going to explain how to achieve this really fast the idea is uh, we have to get the SWAT guy and put it exactly where uh, the the other mesh is so you can see that you, you have to reduce it a little bit only a little bit like that okay and then as always we're going to get the prefab and we're going to unpack it because we want to get all the information inside without having reference to the uh, real game object there okay so uh, the next step is to get these two things and put them inside the avatar man and you will see that the other stuff uh, is no longer needed okay and uh, just to show you um, what is going on on the armature you can see that we have collage on them and we're going to have to replicate them on the new um, a, uh, bone system of the new uh, avatar so we can go ahead and erase all of this if you want uh, nothing's going to happen okay and we're going to do it yes why not we're going to re uh, delete it and now we're going to set up the variables we need to make this work properly. First of all, the XR follower. As you can see, we need the head bone here. So we're going to find the head. And the head is in solar hair, I believe. Let's see if it's that one. No, it's not that one. Sorry about that. We'll have to go and search for it. And it's going to be the SWAT head. Sorry, this one. This one is going to be the head. Yeah. The bone head, better say. Uh, the next thing we have to do is to check that every single variable here that you, we can see is mm, connected properly. Is, if it's something missing, as the, for example the animator or something, uh, we have to change it. In this case, everything seems to be fine. And uh, we need to check the animation. As you can see, we have a problem here because here the avatar is referenced to the solder rig amateur texture that is the one from from our package and in fact we need to reference it to the new um, mesh or avatar and it's this one here but this one here has been imported in a generic way so you have to go and import it into a humanoid way and hit play or apply and it will generate the avatar here that we need to use in our avatar animator variable once we have done that check please that the apply rot motion is set to false because we don't want to move it in a in a specific way and as i said before here you can see that we have two parts that are the body with the hands and everything and then we have the head separated from the rest 
but that's a problem because the hands must be also uh, non part of the of the original mesh in order to use the photon hands so if you want to occult them the photon hands are inside the reference uh, hand left and right so if you don't want to show them you just go there and uh, hide them in order to prevent duplication we're just going to let them there because we want to show you some features when we hit play but at the moment uh, they're going to remain like that now okay and the last thing we have to do is to go to the play avatar new and here in the armature you can see that this one is missing because we have erased it so you have to go to this game object that corresponds to the hips that is the armature and add it to the player avatar new in order to make it work properly okay so we uh, finally got connected we are experiencing some problems today in order to connect to the to the server of the photo of the server i don't know why I'm checking right now if we have some uh, things that are down or, or well I don't know let's see if we can make it work and I if, if I can show you really fast what's going on with the player here so we go to the player that is there yeah well you can see it more or less there and you can see the, that the inverse kinematics are working pretty nicely. You can see that the head is turning too. And uh, that's all regarding the integration. You can see that the weapon is getting uh, instantiated fine too. And uh, if you are experiencing problems with the hands, um, if you want to change that you have to go to the avatar 01 man here and you can see that we have the offsets here which changes the position of the you can see the hand regarding the original position of the uh, of the uh, original hand to from the from the xr game object but we do not have the rotation values there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add and show you how to add the different modifications to apply an offset rotation to your game object hand so you have to go to the XR follower just make this a little bigger and we're going to go to the here and we're going to add and I will add this for you but I'm just going to record it as I'm doing it uh, in real time for you so we're going to add some public vectors three so we're going to copy the line and we're going to set this to offset rot from rotation and we're going to put here 0 0 0 and 0 and we're going to use that for rotating the hands so the hands are here yeah you can see that we are setting the position and now we are setting the rotation of the hands so we're going to multiply this by a quaternion Euler and then the offset rotation hand left X offset rotation hand left Y and offset rotation and no here I said it but I didn't do it so it's rotation rotation and Z and now we're going to go really fast and copy this last line of code 
put it there and then we're going to change this to right so this I repeat I will leave these changes made for you I will try to remember to do it and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit play again I'm going to wait for the connection because the connection is working very bad today very very bad you can see that takes a lot of time to connect and then we're going to modify the parameters to make our hands be in the same position as the controllers so I'm going to zoom there I'm going to take up the gizmos and you will see that my right hand is rotated 90 degrees so we're going to introduce that rotation in the player new clone main body and then here we have the variable for the right hand which is this one is it yes and then we have to test the axis so that axis is not the good one let's see if the y no y axis isn't the good one either so let's go to z so it's going to be 90 degrees so you can do that in real time and you can see that now the hand and the controller are more or less in the same place and as I said before if you don't want to show the hand that has the animations um, synchronized over the network you go ahead and go just to this game object here okay and you disable it and that won't generate the game object over the network if you don't want to show this at the same time in your own mesh you have to go inside the XR you have to go to um, not body camera offset this hand inside of offset and you have here the armature for the left let's see if it's for the right too yeah so now you can see that we don't have the hand displaying and of course we don't have the animations but you can use this in the photon network too so this is all regarding how the avatar modifications are created let's see if it can stand up yeah going to stand up yeah working fine too so it's, it, it stands it moves and also it animates walking without any kind of problem okay so it works well so thanks for watching this tutorial this I'm going to remind you that it's just to know how to change the avatar in our package and introduce in this case a SWOT model or whatever you want thanks very much for watching this tutorial